bas, il y a un triangle à droite, ouais, avec un caillou au milieu. Ah oh, ouais, c'est ça que je regardais. So, I mean, this is this is worth setting up here. We've got. Was this the only big mistake? The first two seasons of filming. Try, try until something something goes wrong. Jeremy, was this the only big mistake that you made in the in the filming, or was it was it the most it, sort of visual one in the movie? Yeah, it was in the filming uh, of the movie. Uh, yeah, the mistake I'm, I'm gonna made on uh, on these mountains. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's the only one, and actually it was uh, almost the only mountain I could I could have this kind of mystic also. So I get I get super lucky. But yeah, we we're gonna see um, when we climb up after. This face is super steep at at the at the top, and then it becomes like more and more flatter like regularly uh, less steep <laughs> yeah, 45 and then, um, degrees i decided to to ski some ice um at the top of it that we can see like slowly now and then uh, yeah i made the mistake to make a direction to put too much um pressure on the side of the skis and even with my bending at 160 kilos and I'm 60 kilos. It it couldn't. Uh, it, yeah, it couldn't hold the ski anymore. So I didn't feel anything. Usually, when you lose a ski with that that much pressure in um, on the binding, you're like torn your ACL and you're like really feeling like the ski was like super hard attached to your to your feet. And then on that case, I couldn't feel anything. It was like just a piece of um, wood going inside. Wow. That's Nico. Joining from the tent because it was super cold. Glass. <laughs> Et moi je skie là. Ce qui est compliqué c'est qu'il doit pouvoir quand même montrer du beau ski. Puis dès qu'il va être gêné par euh... enfin, dès que tu es gêné par la par une neige qui est pas qui est pas facile, tu pas l'impression de montrer ton meilleur ski, c'est un peu ça la frustration quoi. What did you learn from this? Oh, a lot. I lose I lose a lot of confidence in my skiing and then uh, it took me like uh, three years almost to get kind of back to where I, where I were in terms of uh, mental because I was like yeah I was carrying those keys with those heavy um, uh, bending to avoid that kind of surprise so and then yeah that that experience showed me that I can lose a ski anytime if I make any mistakes or so losing his keys somewhat in some of those phases, it's the end of the, um, it's the end of the game. So yeah, it was, uh, it was a strong moment. It, it sure. pops off so easily, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then you continue to slide without me. Do you think you were lucky or do you think it was skill that yeah. allowed you to to a self arrest there i think I, I was lucky to lose the the, um, the right skis actually because i i could keep up on slow down because i still have my uh, exterior skis to put like more weight on it and then the ice also uh, was um, was finishing after 30 meters, so I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't stop myself. 
And you can see there, the ice was like super, super hard. So in that kind of ice, you cannot make any direction. You need to choose the, um, the angle uh, before on the snow, and you need to straight the ice and then let it go. And then after, you can uh, slow down and make turns. How hard is it for you to go in that situation? Well, to be honest, it wasn't that hard. Because I was kind of concentrating on the shot. And for me, it's just like a little dot in the screen. And I just saw a dot, and I'm going, the dot not, is not turning anymore, it's sliding now. But then it stopped. So it was so quick that I didn't actually realize. Uh, and then when I saw it stop, it was fine, but yeah. In the back of your mind, it's always... If something like that happens, and it could be a lot more serious, that's always in the back of our minds as cameramen, but... Yeah. But at the time, I, re I literally didn't realize until it almost stopped what was happening. I just saw a cloud of... cloud of snow, and... Yeah. You don't... Yeah. Don't really... You're so focused on the image. Hey, Sami. But does it? Do you think it affects you long term being exposed to that level of risk as a voyeur? For me, yeah. For me, it's affected me. I mean, I've seen touch wood. I haven't seen anything that really serious happen, but I've seen a lot of close calls, and it's yeah. You question yourself a lot. It's like why. I know why people are doing this, and but why am I shooting it? And yeah, I don't know. As I get older, I yeah, it goes from this is fun and great to this is kind of scary and very dangerous sometimes. That is like the very like Jeremy and Sam are so calculated. It seems very dangerous, but it's probably, it's not. Well, it is dangerous, but it's not. It's, they know what they're doing, and. I'm, I get more scared for people who don't really know what they're doing in the mountains on much easier slopes, but the danger's still there and they don't have the knowledge. Having the knowledge, I'm, knowledge is key. I'm fascinated by what you just said, Jeremy, about that, that crash stealing your confidence for three years. And that illustrates how much confidence you have to have in your equipment and your experience to be able to operate at this level. Yeah, and it's also we can come back to the um, to the Ariana uh, question. It's it was it's such a ritual to do the skis to come to um, to see if the the banding is is well uh, adjusted. If you get like uh, the ridge edges uh, angle also, if you go like in such a steep um, slope, so. Um, yeah, you're like putting everything that you can control, like materials, stuff that you have, that you, you can literally control it and put it in, a, in the green zone. And then uh, you know that it's in your side to perform well. And then all the snow condition, all the weather that we have here in that, we had so much wind during that, uh, that night. So that thing that you cannot control, so... Um, yeah, the thing that you you can literally control it, you like. Yeah, it's so. I enjoy to put that in my side actually, <laughs> a lot. So when when this is like uh, giving that surprise to lose the skis in such slope, it's like affecting you, your your confidence like big time. Yeah. Là, il y a vraiment plus que 70 km.